welcome back to genuine corner guys a lot of friends have been asking me to create a tutorial on making splash screens in Java FX and in this video I will show you how to create a good splash screen in your Java FX program so in this video I will be adding a splash screen for one of my existing project in this case I am going to use the navigation drawer which I will give the link on the description so let's run the program for sample case so this is a splash screen it is made entirely using the java fx transition class without using thread because normally people use threads for making splash screen but in our case we will be using the transition class so this is the actual program and what i have added a 10 second i mean you know it's a 5 second a 5 second transition this is a fade in transition and fade out transition so that's how i implemented it when i run the program I have used a fade in transition for this one and a fade out transition and at the end of the fade out transition the original content is displayed so let's have a look at the source code so this uh, the fxml document is nothing but the screen that is loaded after the splash screen this is the part of the program or you can say this is the main screen of the application and uh, this pla uh, sides panel dot content I which is already I mean you're already familiar with this right in that last video uh, because this is the content in the side panel what I have added in this program is the splash dot fxml file I have created a splash uh, so these four are the existing files in the project and in order to create these five files are the existing uh, files and in order to create the splash screen I have used the splash fxml file and a corresponding controller so you can create such an fxml file by new empty fxml and I got the splash fxml and in that splash fxml I made a good design I mean I added a image view I added a panel with uh, 0.5 opacity and I added the welcome so this is the splash screen that I want to show during the loading of the program and the splash control is very much empty it does not do anything the coding is done in the main control itself so let's see how we can do this so at first the fxml document fxml file is loaded this is default in your project you don't have to change this main class all that you want to do is uh, the fxml documents controller i am going here and i have called a load splash screen method so <coughs> let me remove that uh, and by removing that just one line of code your program is just previous code so this is the actual program and in uh, before loading this window I want to add the splash screen so let's do the coding let me remove the code or just comment the code to do the coding one at a time in order to make things more clear so I'm going to write a load splash screen method so private low void load splash screen so the first thing I want to do is I want uh, currently the content shown in the window is the side panel content uh, no it's not the side panel content it is the fxml document loaded by the navigation drawer dot java I mean fxml document so instead of making this uh, fxml document as visible I want to load the splash screen content which is a splash dot fxml so as you know you can use the fxml loader class for loading uh, external fxml file to a window so I'm going to use the stack pane pane because the parent of my splash screen is a stack pane equals fxml loader dot load and get class dot get resource and the name of the splash screen so this is splash dot fxml splash dot fxml so I got the it definitely throw some exceptions I want to import the stack pane and then I want to surround the statement with try catch 
so that's great we got the stack pane and the next thing I want to do is in I want to set this splash.fxml as the content for some time so that can be done by accessing the stack pane because this root element is the root of this window and I am going to set the content as stack content so get children set all so I'm going to set this splash dot fxml as the content in the window so that's done and the next thing I want to do is I want to create two transition which is fade in transition and fade out transition so let me create the fade in transition first so fade transition fade in equals new fade transition and it will definitely take to uh, I have already created a thorough tutorial on this transition method go and watch if you have if you have some doubts on these transition methods so I want to set this to some kind of three seconds yes then I want to make transition on this pane that's great it's, uh, it's well then transition dot so I want to uh, in order to make the fade in transition I want to set the opacity value from set from value 0 the first the opacity will be 0 and set to opacity to 1 so the opacity will change from 0 to 1 then I just need only one iteration so fade in dot set cycle count and 1 so after the completion of this fade in transition I want to initiate fade out transition but before that let us run the code so fade in dot play <coughs> uh, before that before executing the code I want to call the function load uh, this uh, load splash screen let's run the program there is an error splash dot fxml is splash fxml dot fxml is the file I'm sorry for that so now we are getting the fade in transition the next thing we have to do is to make a fade out transition in order to make that fade of out effect so fade I am just copying and pasting this one this is fa that was fade in and I want fade out fade out transition on the uh, with three seconds on the same set fade out fade out fade out and the opacity value will be uh, 1 and I want to make it to 0 and cycle count is 0 so next thing I want to set is after the completion of the fade in transition I want to initiate this fade out transition so fade in dot set on finished and I can give a even handler here I, have, I am using the lambda method so lambda expression I what I want to do is I want to call the fade out fade out dot play so after the fade in transition the fade out transition will be called so now let's run the code so the fade in is working and the fade out transition working the last thing that we have to do is to call the original content that is the fxml document dot fxml which is the original content of our program so that can be done after the completion of the fade out transition so last thing the fade out dot set on finished so that's it and we can use this method just like this stack pane uh, I mean it is not definitely it is not stack pane if you look into this it is an angle pane so I am going to convert this into angle pane parent content is equal to the it will definitely so uh, throw some exceptions so that's good it's not flat uh, splash dot fxml it is fxml document fxml document so this is your actual content root or get children dot set to on. so it will work fine but there is another issue 
th that is because when we call the fxml document dot fxml file actually this file itself is called when we call this file the spl load splash screen will be called again because uh, i mean it will go like a loop an infinite loop let's see what's happening so it's a fade in transition it's a fade or transition at the end again uh, there is an issue uh, it's not pain it's a parent content sorry for that so we have set the parent content at the end of fade or transition so we have a fade in transition we have a fade or transition and at the end what happened is this fxml document controller is called after the loading of xml document dot fxml and this load splash screen method is called again so what we want to do is we have to uh, keep a variable to keep track of whether the splash screen has been already loaded so in the navigation drawer i have made a public static boolean method is splash loaded and first thing I want to do is before loading the uh, splash screen I will check for whether the navigation draw dot is splash loader if it is not loaded only then the load splash screen method is called and once the once it is loaded I want to set uh, it as loader so navigation navigation drawer navigation there's an issue I think I'm going to navigation drawer dot e splash loader is equal to true so once the load splash screen method is called this uh, e splash loader will be true and this load splash screen method will be will never be called in any future calling so let's run the code so it's a fade in transition it's a fade out transition definitely and at the end we got the original content so that's it guys that's how you use or how you make a splash screen for your JavaFX application and I thought uh, you understood how to implement this because there was only one function and one call if you have any doubt let me know in the comments like the video if you like it subscribe for more cool videos thank you